Hi friends, this is Hari Babu, Department of Tripoli, Chebrazen College. I am going to deal the subject electrical measurements. Unit 6 Digital Meters. The syllabus code in this unit introduction digital voltmeters introduction to the digital voltmeters and in this topic we covered uh, uh, before we said before uh, uh, present we are using all our digital voltmeters before uh, uh, for digital we have we have used that uh, analog meters actually so in this topic we covered uh, the differences or comparison between uh, digital and uh, analog voltmeters Okay, and also advantage and disadvantage of digital and uh, analog voltmeters, right? So next one is success approximation type of DVM. Actually, this is a classification of DVM, nothing but a digital voltmeters. In that we have one uh, successful approximation, tempo type, and this uh, dual slope integrating type of uh, DVMs. These three are the classification for uh, uh, this DVMs, right? So next one is uh, digital multimeter. Nothing but a digital multimeter. Multimeter. Nothing but we have already know that uh, in each lab we have used uh, multimeters. Uh, uh, be do um, some other parameters like uh, voltage, current, resistances also. Okay, in the AC and DC also, right? So next one is a frequency meter. Nothing but used to measure the frequency and digital tachometer. So tachometer used to measure the speed, right? So coming to the uh, topic one that is interaction and digital voltmeters. Okay. And topic one introduction and digital voltmeters. Introduction to the digital meters. Okay. So actually what uh, what is meant by instruments or measuring instrument nothing but uh, the instruments which are used to measure the basic electrical quantities is called basic measuring instruments basic are uh, differences between basic measuring instruments and measuring instruments is nothing but a so here i mentioned the instruments which are used to measure the basic electrical quantities the uh, the point is basic electrical quantities nothing but a voltage and current so voltage and current are the basic electrical quantities uh, so to measure these uh, basic electrical quantities is nothing but a basic measuring instruments so coming to the measuring instruments nothing but the same the instruments which are used to measure the electrical quantities not a basic electrical quantities only electrical quantities nothing but a measuring instruments so in this we can consider as a voltage current power energy and remaining also uh, some other parameters also that is resistance inductance capacitance also right these are all the uh, electrical quantities only but we we separately we mentioned that is basic electric quantities is nothing but a voltage and current only okay actually what is a way we measure that nothing but a the measurement of a given quantity is the result of comparison between the quantity to be measured and a defined standard nothing but already defined defined value okay the measured big uh, we have going to measure a quantity uh, which results that is nothing but a comparison between the quantity to be measured and also given quantity right so this is nothing but a why you measure any quantity right so by uh, already we discussed that is uh, uh, we already we know that in the laboratories also that is the ammeter ammeter used to measure the current that is voltmeter used to measure the voltage watt meter used to measure the power energy meter used to measure the energy that is nothing but consumed by the consumer actually already we uh, already we are all the households we have uh, some meter nothing but energy meter that is called as energy meter right okay so the necessity requirements for any measuring instruments actually are uh, uh, with the instant introduction of uh, each instrument in the circuit the circuit condition should be not altered okay uh, thus the quantity be measured should not get affected due to the instrument used to okay this is the first point actually the second point uh, uh, for a necessary requirement is uh, the power consumed by the instruments for their operation should be small as possible the power consumed by the instruments uh, the power consumed by the instrument should be small okay so then only uh, the uh, errors will be reduced okay uh, that is uh, that is the reason why uh, we use these uh, necessary requirements okay uh, coming to the 
comparison actually uh, uh, i discussed that is the comparison between analog and digital before coming to the digital we use uh, we are all used for uh, analog only so there is analog meters also we have voltmeter ammeter wattmeter and energy meter also but at present we are all using uh, uh, digital meters because of some advantages are there so this is a comparison between analog and digital here i mentioned uh, there is first one is a very very important accuracy so coming to the accuracy the accuracy for analog meters is very less because uh, uh, let us see in the uh, analog meters actually the pointer shows uh, some error actually by uh, by seeing the result by by seeing the value also we can we cannot get a accurate value actually but in case of digital we can get accurate value okay uh, okay right uh, next one is the resolution resolution is nothing but a limited to one port uh, one port in several hundreds but in case of digital high up to one port in several thousands actually okay uh, that is about the resolution power so the power consumed in analog meters is high but in case of digital is very very less actually that is negligible also okay uh, power consumed but in case of cost cost is low okay analog meters are low and digital meters are high but uh, present situation it is actually in the previous section but present situation uh, we are also the digital meters have becomes very less uh, less cost only okay coming to the frictional errors errors nothing but frictional errors nothing but um, there is only uh, obtained because of moving parts okay uh, but uh, in case of analog meters there some errors are uh, uh, introduced that is uh, because of moving parts but uh, in digital digital meters there is no moving parts so there is no errors uh, that is frictional errors right so coming to the observational errors coming observation errors nothing but uh, Uh, errors such as uh, parallax errors are present parallax errors nothing but uh, if you see the some voltmeter uh, let us say 5 5 volts the pointer uh, stays on 5 volts if you see 5 volts uh, uh, we can see in the both sides of uh, um, uh, glass actually we well, left side and right so some of the some of the students uh, see the value from left side and some of the students uh, see the value from the uh, right side uh, the value becomes uh, differ from this uh, from the students so you should uh, avoid parallax errors so that's why the errors uh, you can observe in the analog meters but in case of digital you can observe because the value uh, will be displayed on the uh, uh, display that's why you cannot uh, uh, observe that is uh, observation errors okay uh next one is speed the speeding read is very low in case of uh, analog meters but in case of digital meters it is high that is you know already uh, uh, comparison of speed for reading uh, okay right in coming to the next uh, input impedance the input impedance uh, for a digital and analog is uh, for analog is low and uh, the digital is high right so unka remaining uh, also we have some other differences or comparisons also that is a uh, uh, programming facility programming facility is not available in case of analog but in case of digital we have programming facility also that is you can compute you can control any value by using a computerized right uh, uh, in case of uh, in case observational we have discussed it, right uh, coming to the Uh, next topic this is about interaction and i'm going to the uh, next topic that is uh, digital voltmeters so very very important digital voltmeters so the digital voltmeters generally referred as dvm dvm i think but digital voltmeters right so which converts the analog signals into digital signals okay the analog signals into digital and display the voltage to be measured in discrete numerator instead of pointer deflection right in case of actually in analog we have used a pointer but in case of digital we have digital displays okay uh, that's why you can you can uh, uh, display the voltages in uh, digital display right so such voltmeters can measure ac and dc voltages also right so and also we can measure from this uh, uh, quantities like uh, pressure uh, trans uh, that is uh, uh, temperature stre- stress also right so the dvms have various features and advantages over the conventional analog voltmeters having a point deflection on the continuous scale right so but in case of the analog we have use point deflection but in case of dvm we have display right some advantages are there uh, like uh, in case of uh, 
uh, I mentioned in the previous that is a uh, uh, comparison also okay um, the advantage of digital voltmeters so the first two advantage is due to the digital display the human reading errors will be reduced uh, that is nothing but er parallax errors like that okay uh, uh, coming to the next uh, accuracy accuracy is high up to plus or minus 0.0005 percent very high accuracy okay the resolution also better when micro amperes reading can be measured in the one volt range also right but input input is already i mentioned that is high the reading speed also very high and the due to small size it is portable you can uh, uh, we can use uh, this is vertically and horizontal also but uh, in case of uh, uh, analog meters we cannot uh, uh, vertical and horizontal right but uh, in case of uh, digital we can um, we can use uh, any portable way okay uh, uh, and also the advantage already mentioned this is a programmed and well suited for computerized control right so the output of digital in form of we will directly record it and uh, also suitable for further pulse also actually the reading will be recorded also by using computerized control right uh, uh, remaining also have some advantage all there uh, the inclusion of additional circuit will make them suitable for the measurement of quantities like current impurities capacitance temperature pressure also so by adding some uh, suitable arrangements uh, we can discuss in the next topics also okay right so these are the advantages for digital voltmeters okay so the, there is some performance uh, parameters also are there so in that uh, we have already discussed these topics only okay uh, coming to the black diagram what is a black diagram of dvm nothing but a digital voltmeter this is the digital voltmeter black diagram okay uh, in this actually every digital instrument requires analog to digital converter so every digital instrument requires analog to digital converter without this we cannot uh, use as a dvm right at its input 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 okay now uh, here the first black diagram that is uh, this is the black diagram here we use the d a d c nothing but uh, analog to digital converter a d c i mentioned a d c analog to digital converter okay in this we use uh, uh, some reference also actually uh, i mentioned here uh, this is uh, uh, actually input voltage uh, but also we have some reference also actually so input voltage and reference every adc every adc has some reference okay so the reference can be generated internally and reference generator circuitry depends on the adc only okay uh, that is uh, the technique used in adc right the output of adc is decoded the output of adc is decoded and transferred to the some uh, processing unit actually the processing unit i, I uh, the circuit in this uh, we have not mentioned there is a processing unit okay such a decoding uh, uh, obtained from the processing unit it can be necessary to drive the seven segment display seven segment display right the data from decoder that is counter or decoder or storage here uh, which is transferred to the display okay now from this uh, we can transfer to the display the data transmission element can be latches or counter sets up that is as per the requirement okay the digital display shows the uh, necessary uh, digital result of measurement actually okay uh, i have mentioned here also the any digital instrument requires analog to digital converter and also reference okay so which can be the data from the decoder is transferred to the display which in the seven segment display okay na? right so this is uh, um, about introduction and uh, digital voltmeters okay thank you coming to the next topic actually classification of uh, digital voltmeters